Hi guys, got a nice laptop in today. It's a HP um, 14. Oh, that's what come off in my hand. And uh, it's the model number. Let's come up from there. Look, the model number is a 14 CE 0508. That's an NA. Yeah, NA. Maybe you can see that. I don't know. There you go. Just there. Now it's got no power. Well, it has got power, but it hasn't got power. So if we if we turn it on, uh, where's the charger? Okay, so I've got the charger ready to hand, and it's been somewhere else, and it's come here, and they give me that as well, and they don't know why that has been given to them with the laptop. So it's someone's had a look at it. Okay, so the power light's on. The caps is flashing. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just zoom in. So you got the the caps light is flashing. One, two, three, and then three quick ones. Power lights on. I can hear the fan spinning. I've got no display. Um, you know, there is something we can try and do. We can try and press Windows and uh, D, which is which is Diagnostics for HP. Let's try that. So Windows D and power. Okay, the cap is still flashing, so there is something else wrong with this machine. And it's on, the light's on there, but nothing on the screen. So what we'll do, we'll have a quick look inside and see what's what. So just power it down. Charge out of the way and wherever else is in the way here. Um, so I don't know what's been done to it, but what we need to do is set this back off. The way to do that is there will be screws underneath here, here, and there's three down here. I'm sure there's nothing there, but uh, we'll see what's what in a moment. Let's put that there. With my other tool, I need my other tool to get in between here because this tool is not very good. Oh, okay, I'm gonna give it a good pull. Okay, there you go. Right now, what's missing? I'll give you five seconds. That's right, no memory in there. I can't imagine that being it, but. The machine's still on, so I'm going to power it down. I don't want to uh, put the memory in while that light is still flashing. It's still flashing. Hmm. Well, why is that power light flashing? It shouldn't be flashing. Why are you flashing, mate? Okay, oh, hold on. Right, let's just disconnect the battery. To do that, we've got two, three, four, five screws. There's not one in that hole there. That's probably for another machine. Most this battery is used on various other HP laptops. Okay, so now there's no power. Let's put the memory that came with the device. We don't need the battery for now. We can leave that out of the machine. We don't need to use that to power it up. Uh, so we've got power there now. Okay, you should see the fan spin. Okay, so we've got a fan spin. But no display. Give it a while. Give it a few seconds. Let's just see what happens. Nothing. So let's get. Uh, I've got some memory here of my own. Uh, let's try this one. And that's actually uh, one that's come with a HP machine. So it's. 
correct one, I imagine. Okay, so we've got fan spin, as you can see, fan is spinning there. No display. If there was a short on this machine somewhere, this machine wouldn't turn on. Let me tell you now, it wouldn't turn on. Um, we'd know about it. That won't be on, that won't be on, and uh, the caps won't be on, certainly. So, uh, what's a very, very common issue with these machines? I'm just gonna put my hand around anywhere. If anything's warming up, it isn't, it's fine. I can't feel like it anywhere. A very common fault with these machines, let me tell you, uh, is usually uh, with this fault. I've had it before in the past where one of these pins here could be faulty. So what we're going to do, we're going to get a set of tweezers, put this machine under the microscope. Let me see if I can give you a better angle from my camera. So I'm using a CD drive there, as you can see, just to give me a bit more height on the microscope. So I'm going to look at this part here. So, there are the pins. So we're going to go through each and every pin now and see what happens. Ah, can you? Bloody hell, the first one is loose. Second one's loose. Right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. So the first one's and the second one's loose. Look. I'm heating up my uh, soldering iron and we'll heat the first two ones up. This dude was going along. Why it's such a bad design? I've had so many of these machines in, but never on this side. It's always been on the other side, but this is a, it's a new one. So let's let's see. Just put a bit of flux on there. Okay. So we've gone um, approximately halfway. Um, gone to about here, haven't we? Yeah. They look good, they look good. Fine. Let's check these ones out now. Like I said, it's always been the other side, but I always go from left to right. Um, because that's how we write, don't we? Yeah. We don't write the other way, um, in English anyway, and in uh, some of the languages, yeah, there is, I think Arabic, you write from right to left, so yeah. They look fine, they look fine. You need patience, you know, with these jobs, you need a lot of patience. Um, but I'm just starting with the basics. What did I do first of all? I test check the memory uh, and I put another memory, uh, bit of memory in there just in case the memory that I had was faulty. So I tried that, it wasn't that. Um, so start with the basics first and then start with the difficult stuff. And if it's not this, then we'll, we'll, we'll investigate further. 
Um, can you see that one? Why is that that loose? Tell me, why is that that loose? It's a very strange one. Now sometimes you know you don't know whether the machine's been dropped, um, whether someone's yanked out the uh, upgraded the memory, yanked it out. You know. A little bit of solder, just a tiny little bit. The end of my iron. Just there you go. That's a beauty. Right, let's have a look. Solid. 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 Yep, that's good. Okay. Uh, give it a bit of a clean. Bushes, which do the job, and the cheapest chips, which is what we want. Maximum profit. All right, so let's uh, put this back now. What I didn't check was the pins on this side. Now that, I might have missed a trick there. Um, so let's have a quick look. Just gonna have a look myself quickly if there's anything there that I need to to check very quickly. Let's have a look under my microscope. I'm just looking at the ones that were loose. So the ones at either end. I'm just checking those. Oh, they seem fine, so let's have a, another go. But this time, but you see, the thing is, what I'm um, confident about is that that caps lock's not, not uh, blinking anymore. So I'm going to press. Um, let's do it this way, shall I? Let's do it this way. So I'm going to press Windows, D, and then Power, and see if the diagnostic screen comes up. Thing as yet. Sometimes they do need a short while to power up. Now that should be powering up now. Um, does it need the battery in? Sometimes ah, oh, these machines honestly they really do play havoc because it's probably looking for the battery. It's not in there. So let's put the battery in as well and see what happens. And one screw, I can get it in the right position, is that in the right place, yep, don't do what I just did, and give the charge up between the screen and the keyboard, you will crack the screen, let me tell you. Let's put one screw, two screws in. Is it possible that the memory I've got um, is not it's the right charger? No. Aha, as you can see, we have got life. So if I press enter now, that machine is gonna fire up. You just needed a bit of time for it to 
realize that there's a new memory in there and a battery. So because the, there is no uh, BIOS battery, it needs the main battery to act as the BIOS. But as you can see, that is now perfect. Yeah, it's working fine. Uh, I'm just going to hide the main screen. Okay, so it needs recovery. So see the mouse and what's working? So yeah, we've got a result. We've got a very, very good result here. I'm going to hide the screen again. I don't want to see... Uh, Wait to see who owns the machine or anything like that. Let's see if it uh, starts up correctly. Look at that, guys. There you go. That's what happens when you have a bit of patience and you start with the basics, you know. Um, but that's that's great. Yeah, good result. Hope you liked the video and how we diagnosed the fault and got there in the end. That was a bit long-winded, but hey, you know what? We got there. So yeah. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.